Okay, so today is January 26th, which is day 26 out of 100 days weighing in. So I'm going to put my weight right here. So as you guys can see, I'm not doing as good as I definitely could be, should be. So I have officially decided. I know you guys are like, oh my God, Amberlynn, you do every diet in the world. You are just a failure. And honestly, yes, um, I very much feel like a failure. I wanted to choose something that I know works if you do it and my girlfriend is super supportive so she's doing it with me like she doesn't have to lose weight she wants to lose a few pounds I get it but she's perfect if you guys saw her you would think that too sometimes it's hard to believe that someone like her is with <laughs> just get to it dude I hate when people like just randomly start bringing up things that have absolutely no relevance to whatever they're talking about okay if you guys don't know Amberlynn Reed, as it is right now, stopped taking Ozempic because she said that the Ozempic didn't work. This is from a few years ago. I, I'm guessing this particular video is from a few years back. But as of 2024, on the time of this making of this video, um, she stopped taking the Ozempic because she said it stopped working, which is really crazy to say uh, that the Ozempic, you were out eating the Ozempic. The Ozempic was not, it was the, the entire purpose of Ozempic from the research that I've done is it primarily is a appetite suppressant. And her yearning, her delightfulness, her 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 uh, effectuation with with food was so vast that she was not able to satiate the hunger, um, the hunger cues with the the Ozempic. So um, she said she's gonna stop taking it. She said she was feeling bad. Everybody around her apparently was telling her, "No, you should continue taking it." By everybody around her, literally her girlfriend, her mom, her friends, they were all telling her, "Stay on the Ozempic because." It's helping, you know, it, it, you only you only managed to do it for like a month, right? Maybe you want to keep going for a month or whatever. And keep in mind, within that month, she was like doubling the dose because apparently it was just not working. So really crazy. I don't, I just want to point that out because given what we know now, if somebody is telling you that Ozempic isn't working for them, there's nothing. It's over. You, you lost at that point, dude. If literal Ozempic is no longer working for you, which is a drug, well, it's not specifically made for that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that is the primary drug used currently for weight loss. It's all hope is lost. All ye who enter this place, abandon hope type shit. There's nothing else to say besides that. This woman is incapable of losing weight. And I don't actually think she wants to because most of the time when I see Amberlynn um, throughout her life and her videos that she puts out, she sees no real weight or she sees no real meaning to losing the weight because I think that she's just been fat for so long that she did, she's never realized what it's like to not be fat. So she doesn't know what the other side of the coin could be like. Kind of like when uh, when men try to relate to how women feel about like getting harassed on the street from random dudes. Like most dudes can't really relate to that. Um, I mean, I can to a certain degree because I've been harassed by many men on the street. Like a lot, actually. It's actually really concerning the amount of times that I've been approached by um, gay men and I always like whenever it happens I'm always like is there something about me like what, what are you smelling on me is there some kind of like aroma do I have like a, a pheromone about me that you're 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 picking up and you like oh this guy is gay because I'm not gay I'm not gay a lot of people used to think that I was um Mexican and then a lot of people used to also think that I was uh a really fruity or like I would sell weed too, which is not true. I've never actually liked weed at all. I've done it one time in my life and I hated it because I felt like I was gonna fall over. So, but a lot of people think I'm gay. A lot of people. I've been approached by literally probably five times more men than I ever have been approached by women. Um, but I've only ever been approached by like one woman and she was a literal like crackhead. So I don't know if that like helps me out or anything. But uh, Amberlynn doesn't know what the other side of the coin looks like. She's literally never been thin. So she has no idea what she's missing. Um, and you would think something like cancer would have been the, the the meaningful thing that would have uh, determined her to lose weight, but no, nah. <laughs> nah, she's no. Someone like me, oh my god. So today, and I hate that pick me attitude. Like, oh my god, I can't believe how lucky I got. I can't believe how lucky I got that I have this beautiful, amazing, perfect girlfriend, somebody that likes me. You do realize that you're you are actually in the process of complimenting them. It's actually less of a compliment to, for them and more of a compliment for you. I'm also feeling a little bit different today because I ate a muffin this morning and a piece of the paper, I, when I looked at it, it wasn't a lot of the paper, but I realized I ate a little bit of the paper on the side and now I'm just kind of like feeling like I feel a little bit uneasy now. 
because I know I ate a little bit of the paper. I know it's probably fine to eat a little bit of the paper. I used to know children um, when I was in middle school or even before that elementary school that would literally like eat the glue and suck on markers. So like, I'm probably fine, right? Like I'm not gonna be in a bad situation for eating a little bit of the paper on, you know, a muffin, right? I'm, I'm probably okay. Somebody please help me down below. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about it. Hey, it is day one. I'm back on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna give it a go. I love that she goes on random Weight Watcher diets or like random fad diets because she thinks that that's like the be all end all. She always looks for the easy solutions is something I found. And in this video, I wanna show you guys everything that I eat on day one. So here we go. Let's Please. do it. I see the comments about my hair already. Ugh. Yeah, that's just busted. Okay, so just to let everyone know, I get 83 daily points to eat every day. And then I get 28 weekly points, which is just like extra points if I want to have like a cheat day or I go over a little bit. So these are the points that I have to work with. I just feel like I understand this might make it a little bit easier for certain people. We should just be practicing calories in, calories out, understanding how many calories you eat in a day, and also maybe walk more, be a little bit more anabolic, be a little bit more aerobic, use your legs, especially if you have them. There are plenty of people out there that do not have legs, including some animals, dude. I saw a video the other day of a lion. I think it was a lion. No, it was a, it was a cheetah. Uh, they're all big cats to me, but... Um, this, this cat didn't have any back legs. I mean, they were there, but they were dragging, and I thought, this is terrible. Like, this this uh, animal is a paraplegic, um, but the other animals were taken care of. It was real beautiful in a way, um, but it did die because it was paraplegic and it was dragging its legs on the floor. Naturally, something's going to happen. There's rocks on the floor. It didn't know that it was hurting its legs and things like that. It died. It's really sad, but the point I'm making is if you have legs, think about that, think about that cheetah, that Chester cheetah, that was not able to use his legs because it was broken. I think they got into a fight or something like that. One of the other tigers was being super mean about it and broke its back or whatever. But that that lioness, um, that is whatever the fuck that thing was, could not walk anymore. But you can walk and you're not walking. And your legs are not broken or your back's not broken. So really put that into context. So instead of making a smart decision, I made a stupid decision. 15 points right off the bat gone, by the way. Uh, I believe McDonald's large fry is 500 calories. And I ordered, ordered McDonald's. Two. Not even going out to get it either. Where I could have had a better choice, but. In hindsight, of course. And a 20 piece? Uh, 15 points large fry. I got a 20 piece yeah. nugget, which was 25 points. Jesus, bro. I think those are about 1,000 calories. 1,000 calories or 800 and it's like 850 or something like that. I always rack it to like a thousand calories because like, what are you doing, man? Definitely. They don't look that amazing. good either. I, even like the promotional art they use for McDonald's, it still doesn't look very good at all. It looks like deep fried foreskin. Like they just showed up to like a christening somewhere for like a, I don't know, a Jewish, um, what do they call those things? When you, you know, the, the harmonica session where the, when you're 14 years old or whatever. And they just chop off the foreskin or whatever. It looks like that. Like, it just looks like the leftover foreskin in the vats that they just threw in the deep fire. And now you're eating that. That's what it looks like here. And then... Damn. I tried a fish fillet. But why'd you try it, though? You didn't need to do that. You didn't need to do all this, Amber, bro. You was kind of going overboard on that shit, dude. OD. Or a filet -o fish I might have tried one years and years ago, but... Bomb. So... Now, I, look, the filet fishes are okay. <laughs> They're all right. They're nothing special. They're okay. And you know what, dude? I actually remember a few years ago, right? I We went to McDonald's, me and my family, and my mom had gotten a filet of fish with uh, this. But if you guys don't know, the filet of fishes have a, I believe, half of the cheese that a regular slice of cheese would be. I don't know exactly why they do that. I'm sure it's like whatever they decide. You can actually see it here. It's not a full slice of cheese. And my mom was so pissed off. I'm not even joking with you. That she literally called up corporate and yelled at them and screamed at them. It was like, you fucking, how, what the fuck? There's only half a slice of cheese on this. You guys couldn't even be bothered to put the full slice of cheese on that. And they were, they were saying they're sorry. And they actually sent her like a lot of like booklets of free food from McDonald's. So that just kind of goes to show you that even if you think that it's, it's inadequate to have that full slice of cheese, you're probably right. And they'll send you free shit. Oh, good. Six points. Good Lord. Damn, your entire day is done, dude. Your entire day is finished, cooked, over, j j over done here. 34 for this when the fries were 15 is insane. 34, and this is why a lot of people should not be getting these shakes, dude. These shakes are so high in calorie. And then I had half 
don't lie don't lie so this is half of the points literally half of this is 34 points and by the way there's more on the top than there is on the bottom because of how the cup is shaped of a large sonic blast i think is what they're called for 34 points <laughs> damn not only not only did she exhaust her entire daily amount but she exhausted the weekly count as well and she went into the negative also god damn amber you literally started the diet and you failed the first day so drastically that you went into the negative bro how did how is that even possible so i ate all my points and i went into week and that was just one meal that was just one order off of uber eats one that wasn't like two or three meals that was one order god damn clee into the negatives so i ate 119 points so does that mean like if you go into the next week uh does this like negative eight shuffle into that next weekly points if it can go into the negatives like this then i mean there's, there's got to be some repercussion for this right i mean you're paying money to use this app i'm guessing but the fact that you literally the like can you imagine signing up for this app and seeing that person on the, the other end going like oh amberlyn reed signed up for oh amberlyn reed signed up for weight watchers i'm sure she's got god damn she's already negative eight i just looked away for one second oh my god there's got to be some type of like repercussion for that right is there nobody at sitting behind the desk like there's no messages exchanged like damn you a fat ass bitch like you really sat there and ate that mickey d's like that god damn bro there was way better options and the fact that you made that video to talk about some oh yeah i could have got something else i know you could have got something else you could have got many other something else's but instead you went to the mickey d's and you got a baja blast from not even from mickey d all right, bro. And that was half, too? And I'm calling cap on that. I know that she probably thinks, like, oh, it's half. But she probably slopped down the entire vat of whatever that thing was. And just said it was half because, well, half and, like, you know, full are basically the same thing. Which is not true, by the way. It's not how it works at all. But that's probably the way she looked at it. Today. I regret it. I, like, literally hate myself. Don't lie. You you don't hate yourself. You're, you're, you're literally probably feeling so good in your mouth when you was body slamming that shit. Like, you satisfied your lips. Just say that. It's okay. Um, but you, you, it's not. You can't just be body slamming your entire day's worth of points and also the weekly points as well. Weekly points is insane. That's literally seven days worth of points that you just literally swallowed down your mouth in one session. But accountability am i right no it's not accountability you're actively not taking accountability you're just like shrugging this off as if it's like not a big deal this is actually super concerning that was literally one meal there's usually three of those in a day and you snack i know you snack man this shit bro this right here this sweater look real itchy this sweater looks like that one you remember in spongebob when um spongebob went to go get get squidward a, a gift or something like that and him and him and Patrick like took off their eyebrows to weave Squidward a, a, a sweater. This looks like that sweater. And he said he was like, it's itchy. You know, you remember that? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so today is January 27th, day 27 of weighing in for 100 days. So here it is. So I, don't I know now why she doesn't weigh in anymore because she doesn't want to be held accountable for the weight that she's gaining. Right. And or she went over the 750 pound capacity for the for the weigh-ins bro um it's just really sad because i know that amber lynn probably is gaining weight i know she is she literally says it like every time she starts a video she goes yep guys i gained more weight which makes sense because you were taking those epic and then you stopped taking those epic and now so you're surprised that you gained weight why would you ever be surprised on that literally you had an appetite suppressant that you're no longer taking and you were literally gaining weight on the ozempic which is whatever dude i don't know if you guys like actually want me to keep doing these like weigh-ins yeah we all want it literally every single person wants it please let me know um, I know in my personal life, I will be still weighing in every single day. How the fuck you maintain 500 pounds so consistently? Go God damn, that's big as fuck. Dude, to maintain 500 pounds, let alone gaining on top of that, is actually incredible. But to just simply maintain, let's talk about that for a second. You have to be eating such a crazy amount of calories in a day that, like, I almost can't even believe that a human being can maintain 500 pounds. Like, that's some sumo wrestler shit. And those dudes are literally eating to fight. You're eating just to eat. 
Yeah, like, you're not even doing anything aerobic. You're literally eating and you're sitting down. At least those sumo wrestler dudes are, like, oiling themselves up in those big baby diapers and, like, fighting other big-backed individuals. At least that's, like, somewhat entertaining. Whenever I see you, I'm just depressed. It's just what I like to do. It is what it is. Today is day two on Weight Watchers. If you guys saw my last video. Yeah, she look fucking dried out here, dude. Damn, her, bro. Her face looks super disgruntled here, bro. What the fuck is going on with your eyes? She got that Emperor Palpatine shit going on, dude. You see what I'm talking about? That Emperor Palpatine action? You remember, like, in Episode 7? Uh, sorry, Episode 6, when he was fighting Luke and he, he had those sunken eyes or whatever on, like, Episode 3 when Mace Windu was reflecting the lightning back at him? Which, by the way, why were you doing that? Yo, um, I kind of went into the negatives of my weekly point. What do you mean, kind of? What the fuck? Dismissive terms. Yes, you went into the negative. You know, it is what it is. What do you mean it is what it is? Not is what it is. No. You don't just say it is what it is. Wait, what have you ever said that about anything like that, bro? Uh, I mean, I did murder somebody, but it is what it is. I mean, it, I did, like, accidentally drive my car up on a curb, and then I did murder, like, four or five. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. No, it's not is what it is. That's a day you're just missing your bad behavior. You did something wrong. Take a, If you want to sit here and actually take accountability, maybe say that. Maybe say, I fucked up. I shouldn't have done that. It was a bad thing on my part. I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that I don't do that again. Instead, all I hear is, it is what it is. That's dismissive behavior. It sounds like you're about to do that shit again. I still logged everything. It was very hard to log everything. Yeah, that just gives me the impression that she didn't log everything. At that point, Oops, you but can't see me. I still did it. I wanna like hold myself accountable. So I am gaining weight, even though I started Weight Watchers because- Damn, bro. Y y it's gotta be, man, this is some real, this is some real motivational shit right here, dude. Think about this, right? For a second, just for a second. It might be motivational in the wrong direction though. It's motivational in the degree of like, this person is literally on diets. This person's literally on Ozempic. This person's literally doing the things that you're supposed to do when you're trying to lose weight and they only manage to gain weight. It's just a testament. It's just a testament to how terrible some people can just be, bro. And you know what? I know there are a lot of people out there and uh, they sit there and they say, David, men are literally stupid. They're dumb. They're disgusting. And you know what? I agree with that. But this is a testament right here that women can also be dumb and women can also be stupid, okay? Equality, bro. We're literally showing out right now, dude, for the genders across the board, dude. Everybody can be stupid. Because I feel like at night I'm kind of binging on McDonald's. What do you mean you... What do you mean you think? Like, what do you mean, like, I feel like? What do you talk about? Like, are you doing that? What do you mean in, in the middle of the night you're binging on McDonald's? What do you mean by that? Like, you do realize that's a very deliberate thing you're talking about. You can't just be like, I think I am. What do you mean? Like, are you hitting up the Uber Eats driver? Be like, yo, show up. I'm hungry, dude. My mouth is literally vibrating right now, bro. I'm going to need that quick Mickey D's pull up. Or is it like a guy just randomly showing up, dropping off Uber Eats orders randomly at your door, like like the fairy godmother of diabetes? What is going on exactly? Are you hitting up the Uber? You can't. That's a deliberate thing. You have to hit up the Uber Eats driver. You can't just not. You can't just like think about food and just manifest in front of you. I truly don't know like why I am having that. Because you're hungry. Your mouth is wide open and you want to fulfill your desires. Urge every night. I did it again last night. Damn. So that's two nights in a row that I did it. Damn. I've never done that in my life. Two times for me would be like a deal breaker, bro. What? Dude. Two times is crazy for almost any metric, bro. Like, can you imagine dating somebody and then, like, the girl that you're dating is like, I did suck off a guy twice. I mean, maybe the first time you might be able to get away with it because, like, oh, you cheated on me, you sucked off this guy. Maybe it was by accident. Maybe you were yawning and a dude, like, he, he like, you know, did one of these and threw it somewhere and then it just, ugh, I don't know exactly. Maybe it did that. Or, but the second time, two times in a row, it's a little bit too much. So, two times in the middle of the night, you're out here body washing, body slamming, fulfilling your mouth's desires with Mickey D's? You did that yourself. You, it, this is all you. And I promised myself that it's not happening again tonight. Like, I literally promised myself. Why not last night? Like, or the night before that? It should have never happened to begin with. I felt very low calorie yesterday. Like, I wasn't doing Weight Watchers or anything like that. I kind of have something personal going on right now. And I just literally was not hungry at all. So yesterday I had one of my normal like chicken sandwiches that I have and a serving of hot Cheetos. 
and then later on that's literally all i ate for the whole day and then it was like 10 p.m and i was like oh my god i'm so hungry so my girlfriend actually made a pasta dish that she recently made up and she loves having a girlfriend dude she loves bragging openly about what her girlfriend does for her dude just grow up man be your own person and I low-key want to show you guys that recipe because it's so good. We don't care. So I also had a serving of that. So I had what is this serving? less than a thousand calories yesterday. Okay, so I had a chocolate peanut butter yasso as the first thing. And then I ordered this like open face turkey cheesy onion sandwich. <laughs> Some like cheesy and steak e fries. It was pretty tasty. Um, then I got some Starbucks. This is just a chai tea. And I got some of their mandolin cakes, which is one of my faves. And I was craving a chocolate chip cookie. Oh my god, this sounds so good right now. <laughs> um, so I got one of those. Okay, you guys. So the next thing I'm having, if I ever say that I'm off a of track, it's, it's probably because I either had one of these, I plan on having one of these. What are you doing throughout the day? Can you tell me about your hobbies? Like, what do you do for fun? How do you, uh, you know, like, what do you, what do you do for recreational purposes? Like, I know you have a girlfriend. Um, do you guys do anything together? Do you, like, I don't know. I know you have, like, Lego collections. It kind of seems like you gave up on that. It doesn't seem like you really build, build anything, really, in particular. Do you play video games? Do you have, play Monopoly? I, I don't, do you wash dishes? Do you do anything? Like, why is it this easy for you to cave? on your diet so optimally, okay? Like, coming from me, I have a hard time eating in general. So whenever I do, I try to eat as much as I can in that short period of time, because I don't want to eat. I don't like doing it. So if I can, I'm gonna eat whatever I can in the most nutritious way as fast as possible, because I, would enjoy, I enjoy doing other things. I know a lot of people find a lot of enjoyment eating food and they find a lot of like satisfaction or whatever like hormones are activating in your brains maybe i have those too to a certain degree or another it's probably less than most people though because i don't really care for it if i didn't if i had the option to not eat and not suffer any of the consequences for that i would choose to do that but then again i would do that for like i would do that for a lot of other things like sleeping i would definitely do that for sleeping if i did, if i didn't have to sleep and i could just literally chill and not suffer any of the consequences i would do that and i'm pretty sure most people do that as well i just want to know because like Throughout my day, I find always it's hard to time management because I always want to do a lot of things. I want to play video games. I have to do my work. I have to do a whole bunch of shit. Maybe I have to go food shopping. Maybe I have to pick up prescriptions for other people. I have other people in my life that I have to take care of. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I have to do in the day, right? And I really want to play video games, right? It's like one of my favorite hobbies, but I just can't. I just can't. So what I end up doing is just like playing one or two games of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and then I have to go back and do whatever I was just doing before. For somebody like Amber though, I, I just think it's so crazy the amount of times that she has nothing to do throughout her day and instead she replaces everything that she does, all those idle times with literally doing the eating. All she does is sit there and get the Uber Eats deliveries. The dudes show up at the door and she's basically like marinating the guy's fingertips with like the saliva when she gives him the, the fucking, when she goes and takes the order because the guy can't even drop down the food before the woman takes that shit off the, 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 the guy's hands. So I just want to know, what are her hobbies? Does she have any? I know she puts a lot of effort on the person that she's with, but it's like not really effort. It's more so like she just kind of like is really, really like clingy with that person. But like, what is she doing? Somebody's got to let me know, please. All right, guys, I'm finished. I don't want to watch any more Amberlynn Reed, maybe with the exception of tonight on stream, which you can always catch me almost every day, um, streaming on this channel right here at 6 p.m. EST. So if you see me streaming and you see that live icon pop it up on my YouTube channel, go ahead and join in. Say what's up because I'm always going to be there and I'm always going to tell you how great you are and how amazing you are because you are really amazing. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety today, and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Sonic, because our girl Amberlynn Reed has some Sonic right here. She's representing for the Sonic gang, not like the blue guy, but the restaurant. I don't have that here. I've never eaten at a Sonic before. But anyway, um, you're beautiful, you're spectacular, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're awesome and amazing sorry i'm a little bit out of breath because i just ran up the stairs to try to get my laundry um but here i am here i am uh you know venting to you guys about how i just i'm just feeling some type of way today dude after i ate that muffin and i looked at that muffin paper and i was just like i don't know what this means for me 
Um, but then again, I know dudes that have like microwaved literal coffee in the same cup it came in, like the styrofoam stuff, and they drink it and it's like no problem to them. I even know a dude that took like five ibuprofens back to back to back to back, and he said he was fine. Uh, I mean, he did say he felt like he was vibrating, the world around him was moving, but that was only for like four hours, so it wasn't like that bad or anything like that. But uh, I'm okay. I'm, I think I'm probably okay. But let me know down below about that muffin thing because I genuinely want to know. But uh, anyway, you're a beautiful person. You're an amazing person, smelling, smelling good person, very lubricated, very, very appealing to the eye. I love that about you. You're so amazing. Uh, socials, socials will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.